Okay, all right. Thank you guys. Ah, hello. All right. I think my time started. Let me start the time. I'm excited to be here. I am visiting from Los Angeles. Uh, I'm single in Los Angeles, which is great. Uh, so I'm dating, but I don't know if I'm dating girls, if I'm just feeding girls. I have no idea. <laughs> Uh, I've been going on so many feedings lately. Uh, I, uh, I was feeding this girl for like six months, and uh, it, uh, it, uh, it ended because she sent me a text message that said, hey, could you come over and help me build my bed, and then maybe we can use it? It's a great text message. I immediately turned to like a 90s R&B singer. I was like, girl, I'm gonna build your bed to lay you down. That was my first thought. Uh, my second thought was, I can't build a bed. There's no way I can do that. I can barely build a bear, and there's a workshop for that. Uh, but I did do it, I went over there. It only took me three hours uh, until, I called, until I called a man. Uh, I was like, hey, Danny, this is Courtney. He's gonna be feeding you from now on. I was out of there. Not fun. <laughs> Not a good time. Uh, by the way, I do beatbox. It's a weird skill, it's a weird talent, but I can never use it to like impress anybody. I can never like have somebody over or be someone be like, hey Corny, did you want a glass of wine? I'm gonna grab a glass of wine. Do you want a glass of wine? I'm gonna grab one. <laughs> it's a twist off. <laughs> Courtney? <laughs> what happens every every single time? <laughs> I uh, I beatbox because I grew up here, and when you grow up here, you listen to hip hop, even if you look like this. And uh, <laughs> like uh, one of my favorite songs growing up was the song "Big Pimpin'" by Jay Z. You guys know that song? Yeah. Yes, great song. Yeah, all right, big fans. Uh, always reminds me of my mom. Um, I'll explain. There's a lyric in the song where he says, I got no patience and I hate waiting. I remember being in the car with my mom. I was like, that's really redundant. He has no patience and he hates waiting. She goes, Nee, maybe he's a doctor and he has no patience. <laughs> I was like, Mom, first of all, there's no way that Jay Z's a doctor. <laughs> Second of all, I don't think you know English yet. I don't think you figured it out. I don't think you know it. Um, I don't know if you can tell by that uh, accent, I am Indian, the dot kind, and um, <laughs> I, I don't like addressing my race. I'm not a fan of addressing my race. I don't like, you know, uh, I, don't, I don't like being people's tour guides to India. I'm not a fan of it. Uh, don't have any sage in my pocket. Uh, can't help you with chicken tikka masala. It's magic, I don't know what it is, uh, <laughs> no idea. Uh, and I don't speak Hindi, Hindu, or Indian. Two of those aren't languages. You can't, <laughs> you can't speak them, all right. Uh, but the main reason I don't like addressing it is because um, we don't have any cool stereotypes. No cool stereotypes about being Indian. Sometimes people are like, what about the Kama Sutra? That's cool, that's sexy, that's sexual, that's cool. Yeah, those are just drawings, that's all that is. That was just one guy who was in his room like, okay, this is what I want to do. <laughs> <laughs> I want to fuck blue people. That's what I want to do. It's the whole book. Some races get cool stereotypes. Black dudes, big penises, congratulations, that's incredible. <laughs> it's like the gold medal of stereotypes, it's amazing. <laughs> then there's like white guys who have like Forrest Gump box of chocolate dick, you just never know what you're gonna get, you have no idea. <laughs> Life's like a white guy's dick, you just don't know. <laughs> you have no idea. Uh, but what's the stereotype about Indian guys? There is no stereotype, because nobody fucks Indian guys. <laughs> they don't do it. That's why we have arranged marriages, that's why. <laughs> Not a cultural thing, just our dad trying to get us laid. That's all it is. <laughs> hey, could somebody fuck Sunil, please? <laughs> please, he's a virgin. Um, <laughs> uh, but uh, it is weird. it's weird living in Los Angeles. My family's still here, and it's weird coming back uh, because uh, they've become racist, which is weird. It's weird, and they're a race. I don't know how that works. Uh, like, recently my house was robbed, and I called my mom and was like, hey, is everything okay? Is everything all right? And she goes, it's okay, but you know, it was black people's. <laughs> I was like, wait, how do, you, how do you know? Do you have any witnesses, any suspects? Right? And she goes, no, but it was black people's. <laughs> and I was like, how do you know? Do you have any witness, any evidence? She goes, Neil, they turned the heat up all the way. 
And you know, black people always feel cold. <laughs> I was like, where are you getting this stereotype from? Where does that come from? Never heard of that. She goes, Neil, they come from Africa where it's very hot to America where it is not as hot. So you know, they always feel cold. I was like, Mom, you're from New Delhi. You always feel cold. I don't know <laughs> where this is coming from. Also, what would have happened if they turned the AC up? What if it was freezing in there? Would she be like, Neil, it was Eskimos. <laughs> it was black Eskimo peoples <laughs> and robbed the pits. My mom is getting so racist. She thinks that black people's broke into her house and we're like, you get the bedroom, you get the living room. I'm gonna get the thermostat. It is freezing <laughs> in here. Are we supposed to rob this place? Thank you guys so much. I'm Neil Nanda. Can we go be a host?